Where are we, Steve? I think we're in Kimberly. Wow. Wanna go riding? Absolutely. Let's go. Hi, it's Meg. And it's Steve. Welcome to Hardtail Life. So Meg, what do you know about Kimberly, BC? Well, it's a small, darling little town, and it's located close to the Rocky Mountains. Mm -hmm. It's super beautiful here, lots of colors. And this town used to be a rich mining town, but they're not doing that anymore. So Meg, why do people come to Kimberly nowadays? It seems like they mostly come here to golf and ski and also... Mountain biking. So this is our first time flying with bikes. How is the packing process, Steve? These bike bags were made for bikes, but I gotta say, I don't know if they made it for 29er wheels because that was a struggle. The rest of it was fine. Our bikes were a little bit long. We had to take the derailleur off, no problem, but the wheels were a struggle. But it felt really badass to roll through the airport with a bike bag. <laughs> Not a lot of thumbs ups. <laughs> So the first place we went to was the Kimberly Nordic Center. It's really a network of XC ski trails in the winter, but then used as biking trails the rest of the year. Another thing we noticed that these trails were quite XC in nature, which I think people who like pedaling, who like hammering on it, will really, really enjoy these trails. So when it comes to the Nordic Center, not a lot of elevation climbing or dropping, very XC, work hard, hammer at it, go fast. That's where we think it's fun. The second mountain we went to was called Bootleg Mountain. So that was a little bit more remote. So it's a bit of a drive to get there and you definitely need a vehicle. And um, we did climb up the first time, which was an epic climb, lots of switchbacks. It was really nicely made, the, the climb trail, like there'd be a few switchbacks and then a little bit of traverse. And I quite enjoyed that, but a lot of people shuttle there. It's perfectly designed for it, but we did both. We pedaled up once and we also shuttled once. <sighs> All right, two things. One, that climb was rough. Yeah. And two, it's beautiful here. <laughs> it is. So I'm pretty sure I saw elk poo or moose poo. Maybe. <laughs> Lots of deer poo for sure. But yeah. Want to go ride pigeon roll? Let's do it. Okay. In a moment. <laughs> How about this? Okay. After we finish pinch and roll, we hit up the hot springs. That sounds incredible. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, pinch and roll. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, a little techie to start, okay? Woohoo! Wow, look at Yo! Meg go! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Love those elbow pads right now. Oh man. What the heck is this? You wanna take a look at it first? Nope. Alright. Oh. <laughs> oh nice. Nice. <laughs> wow. <sighs> <laughs> I didn't have a lot of grip there. <laughs> no! On the front. And every single time I hit the brake in the back, I could feel the left sliding <laughs> outward. Yeah. And I was like, well, I don't want that. I was like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Not today. Nice job. Nice. Come on, front brakes work. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, tired. Oh, you gotta take a break. Yeah, let's do that. My legs are like. <laughs> oh, you did Sorry. great. That was a steep roll. I didn't. Uh, I didn't know what you were gonna do. Yeah, I know. You crushed it. Just ejaculate from my bike. Sorry, what'd you say? Ejaculate. Eject. Ejaculate. It's a new word. <laughs> Hashtag ejaculate. <laughs> All right, Meg, since we pedaled up once and we shuttled once, what was your preferred way of getting up? Hands down pedaling. Of course. 
So of the trails we rode, there was just enough jank and tech in some of these trails, such as the Top of Pinch and Roll and Snow Mexican, that it just brought a little bit of that like nostalgia from North Shore. I mean, it wasn't quite the same level, but there was a little bit of it, and we definitely appreciated that. Yeah, it was really fun to get on the woodwork and just, you know, feel really confident in that. And also the jump trails, for those who can jump, I'm sure are glorious. Um, I enjoyed rolling over them. <laughs> and of course, no trip is complete with some local food and drink. The first place we went to was called Pedal and Tap. Very appropriate name. It was so great. They had like pedals on the wall to hang your gear and they had great food. It was like really healthy cuisine. It was just a lovely evening. I don't know if a buttermilk fried chicken sandwich was considered healthy, but it was delicious. <laughs> And of course, we have to go to the local coffee place. And we are here at Kick Turn Coffee House, drinking Mexican coffee, roasted in-house. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Whew, what a whirlwind of a weekend in Kimberley, BC. Meg, what are some of your takeaways? Well, it was so wonderful to connect with old friends who have moved here and also explore new trails and new riding styles. For sure. And I think just having the natural beauty, the hot springs, the large trees, it just was the cherry on top of a wonderful, delicious kick. <laughs> Huge thank you to Aaron and Marilyn for lending us and trusting us with their bike bags and teaching us how to use them. And thank you to Andrew and Jacqueline at Essential Cycles for helping me prep my bike. Kind of 11th hour had a fork leak and uh, that was a big ordeal. But thank you for loaning me a fork to come to Kimberly. Thank you to everyone who made this possible. <laughs> Anyways, if you're relatively new to riding, but you love it and you want to do it all the time, then you've come to the right place. We're eager to ride all the trails and try all the things. So please subscribe and follow along on our mountain biking adventures. Thanks for watching and see, see you in the, the trail. trails. How to ride the jumps in the way, a jump trail in the way to hit the least number of jumps possible. <laughs> or case the most number of jumps possible. I know, I was like, woohoo! I don't think this is how you're supposed to ride a jump. <laughs>